War. War never changes. With the new Universes Beyond Expansion Fallout coming to Magic the Gathering, you might feel a little lost with the settings and stories if you have never tried out the game. So today we are going to dive into the most popular legendary creatures of this expansion and explore the rich and vast universe that is Fallout. Fallout Universe is set in an alternate timeline very similar to our own. In that timeline, World War II still happened with the US inventing the nuclear bomb, starting the Cold War with the Soviet Union, and later China. However, anti-communism didn't go away in this universe, with tensions continuing to rise as both superpowers struggled to fight for energy resources. In 2077, the Great War broke out between China and the US and a world-ending catastrophe event occurred when both parties engaged in nuclear warfare. Now before the war started, a US tech company called Vault Tech invented 122 vaults to shelter humans from a nuclear disaster. As such, people who took shelter in the vault survived and began exploring the wasteland, a post-apocalyptic US. These people are known as Vault Dwellers or Wasteland Dwellers and serve as the main playable characters of the game. However, since the Vault Dweller is different in each Fallout game, Wizards decided to use a consistent companion to the Vault Dwellers instead as the first Legendary Commander card, Dogmeat Ever Loyal. Just like in the game, Dogmeat is a loyal companion who literally fetches you a lost equipment card from your graveyard to your hand. Good doggy. Another point to note is that Dogmeat actually originates from a place called Junktown in the game built from random pieces of junk after the war, which explains the junk token he creates and the whole flavor of exiling and milling cards. Now the second legendary commander that we see is Kaisar, Legion's Emperor. Spoiler alert, this is not the actual Kaisar you're thinking of. His real name is Edward Sallow, the leader of the militaristic faction known as the Legion. Remember when I said the Wasteland Dwellers began exploring the Wasteland? Well, eventually these people would form an organized society known as the New California Republic, or NCR, built upon the principles of democracy. While well, the Legion is the exact opposite of that, believing slavery and dictatorship are the only means to achieve peace and security, Kaisar ruled his followers with an iron fist, attempting to bring back the glory of the Roman Empire. That explains the flavor of the legendary card. He will sacrifice anyone to achieve victory the loyal soldier tokens following his lead. Another impactful legend from the set is Dr. Madison Lee. Now she is actually a lead scientist in the Fallout universe, contributing to something called Project Purity, a project designed to purify water contaminated from nuclear radiation. Without going into too many details, Madison actually helped assist a heroic faction known as the Capitals Brotherhood of Steel who fought for Project Purity to provide clean water for everyone against the Enclave, a group of evil mastermind top US officials who survived the nuclear blast and planned on using Project Purity for their own goals. In the game, Madison used her knowledge of fusion power to reboot the gigantic robot known as Liberty Prime, which is one of the legendary artifact creatures in the set to achieve victory for the Brotherhood. Democracy is non-negotiable. This again matches with the flavor of the card. The energy counters represent fusion power, and the act of returning target artifact from the graveyard to the battlefield symbolizes the rebooting of Liberty Prime. One of the most interesting commanders in the set is the Wise Mothman from Fallout 76. With nuclear holocaust on the horizon, a group of religious fanatics known as the Cult of the Mothman attempted to summon the mythical creature of Appalachian folklore for wisdom and protection on October 22nd, 2077. Brother Charles experienced a vision from the Mothman warning to take shelter. The global thermonuclear war happened the next day, and the cultists survived by gathering in the Lucky Hole Mine. In the post-nuclear wasteland, radiation exposure caused the rise of super mutant moths the size of men. When the enlightened emerged from the mine, they worshipped the benevolent pure-eyed wise mothmen, 
who they believed saved them. The Wise Mothman thrives on atomic waste. As your commander, the Wise Mothman will bestow blessings upon your creatures through the milling of cards, mutating them into more terrifying beings with plus one plus one counters. Another option you might want to consider for Commander is Mr. House, President and CEO, the other main antagonist from Fallout New Vegas. Robert House is a technical genius, eccentric businessman, and the founder of Robco, a manufacturer of advanced robots and the iconic Pip-Boy. He predicted the world would be engulfed in nuclear war and installed laser cannons on the rooftops of the Vegas Strip to ensure the city would survive. His goal is to restore New Vegas to pre-war glory with his robot army. As a commander, Lucky Dice Rolls will create 3-3 robot artifact creature tokens and sometimes treasures. Winning treasure multiplies dice rolls and robots. And there you have it. There's a brief walkthrough of the stories behind the legendary creatures of the Fallout set. Which commander is your favorite after knowing their backgrounds? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. You're cool. Thank <laughs> you.